Good choice, Tux. Oh, Marty's up there. <laughs> so, um, last night, after the rain stopped, it poured. Let me just tell you, it poured. I put Marty and Stripe out. They had been in for about a couple hours. And one of the reasons why that's good is it lets Tux go wherever he wants to go without having to worry about Marty and Stripe. Um, but Marty came up and Tux was in the bed and Marty stood over Tux hoping and hoping against all hope that Tux would, come here Tux, that Tux would leave the bed and Tux didn't and finally Marty went and sat down next to him um, and all was good. But um, yeah, there's a little back and forth between Marty and Tux even though they don't fight. Here's my <laughs> Here's my statue. So, um, we had rain yesterday morning and less yesterday evening and I emptied the rain gauge in the morning and all I can tell you is for sure is we had another solid two inches last night. Don's already emptied the rain gauge. It came down. It was poor. It was a fast two inches. It came down. Wow. <sighs> so, rain, rain and more rain. We are um, not walking this morning. Hopefully we'll get out later today. And the reason for that is I'm headed to the dentist. This is that appointment I've had for, well, I guess since Friday. Hi. Aw. Um, to go talk about my wisdom teeth, um, which have really never given me any problems since in my 20s when um, they went in and trim the gum off of the top of the tooth. I had one infection. I'm not having any problems with my wisdom teeth right now. And um, I'm still taking an antibiotic. That infection back there seemed to heal up. So I don't know what she's going to say. Is she going to do a full court press and try to get me to let her take them out or send me somewhere to get them taken out? Or is she going to go, yeah, things look good back there. Let's play it by ear and see if you have any more problems. I also don't know what my response is going to be. It's probably going to be, unless you can convince me that some of the headaches and some of the um, nerve issues in my face are related to the wisdom teeth, I don't want them out. But we'll see. I'll try to keep an open mind and not be too cynical. How about that? <laughs> I'm just straightening up my inflatables. Yeah. Well, I sure hope we don't have any issues from Helene. It's looking, I guess, that most of the impacts will be to the west of us. Boy, that um, tulip poplar over there has really got some yellowing leaves on it now, which it's an early leaf out tree, so that's kind of normal. But, um, yeah, I don't know about worried about more rain, even another two or three inches and a 40 mile an hour gust would not be good wow <laughs> i told you i had pine cone issues over here right i got pine cone issues anyway the plan is to get out of here for the dentist at 10 and marty has his yearly vet appointment at 12 30. so hopefully i have this is going to bloom again yay um hopefully i can um get home from the dentist in good time and um, get Marty to the vet for his shots. Like I said, just a yearly appointment. So they're still saying one to three inches from Helene here. 25 to 35 mile an hour, 35 mile an hour max wind gust, but they didn't rule out 45. Let me tell you, even one or two gusts at 45 to 50 would be problematic with as wet as the ground is. Um, unfortunately, it's all happening during the day Friday for us. I'm going to assume Charlotte is farther west and also, um, you know, southwest. So I'm going to assume a little earlier. So unfortunately... I think it's possible Johnny could have to try to get to class and 
pretty heavy rain Friday, but there's nothing that can be done about it. It would be better. You know, impacts for school and work and all that stuff is less people if it's on a Saturday instead of a Friday. So I'm sorry that it's going to be Friday instead of Saturday, I guess. Good morning. Hi. Hi, sweet pea. Good morning. Here you go. Uh-oh. And that LED bulb out there, up there has been freaking out. I don't, maybe that's a smart bulb and it's in pairing mode. It stopped yesterday after a little while. I just turned it on. I'm sorry, Gray. Mom will go over there and she'll loosen it so that one doesn't do that. I don't have the address for this dentist office and it's right around the corner. So <clears throat> I'm just driving. Yesterday I was having so many problems with my camera, which this is that card, but it's been cleaned off. Um, slow writing and issues and it was just a disaster yesterday. So I did have trouble making <laughs> clear videos. I haven't tried to edit it yet. They seem to be there, which is good. Um, but I wasn't very talkative because I couldn't record more than little tiny clips. Um, I just, between that yesterday and we video is still not publishing my videos directly to YouTube, so I'm having to manually download and re-upload and stay with it. I'm just, you know, um, things are not as easy as I would like them to be. <laughs> yeah, this card seems to be doing fine now. Um, if it gave me any trouble at all today, I was going to put in a brand new card, but they do wear out with continual read write video for an extended period of time and there's no way to really mark the date of starting to use it on the little tiny micro SD card so um, yeah I'm glad I don't have to go to carry I'm glad I have switched Dennis office to this one that's really close to the house I told Don I, I think I'm feeling some better today. Maybe the um, treatment yesterday on my neck helped to get rid of some of the inflammation and some of the nerve type issues seem to have abated. It could be I had a virus and I'm just starting to get over it. It could be the antibiotic has really done a good job now. Could be a combination. I really, I really don't know. I really don't know. So 540 did open this morning, the new part of the turnpike, 18 miles worth. Don and I will definitely be driving that here soon. Although on new roads, you know, with maps being updated, I don't know how good the car is going to know where it is as far as speed limits and map data for exiting and stuff. That's <laughs> in the past, even on major interstates, like that one stretch I know some of you will remember up in Durham. Um, I can't remember what that road number is now, but the one that gets you from RTP over to the north side of Durham, that took six months or better before it was okay. I mean, it was just a complete disaster. It's just, I wanted to go beat on somebody's computer keyboard and fix the map data for them. So that was kind of, so I, I don't know, but we will check it out. There were all kind of flooding and road closures last night with the additional rain because we've had it's not like two inches or three inches or even four inches is a big deal it's that um it's a big deal on top of all the other rain we've had i really like this dentist office so if you live in the area and you're looking to switch i like them they take my insurance um there's a little bit of redness back here on the lower gums and she cleaned with the scaler and poked and prodded and yeah it hurts a little bit but not like it did on Friday and um, they took a pano and somehow we can't get my records transferred here from the other dentist uh, probably because it changes hands so often they don't know where my records are <laughs> I don't know Anyway, they did a pano and insurance is supposed to cover but they said if for some reason insurance messes up because they called the check they'll just write it off anyway the pano looked great there's no problems with the 
rude. She doesn't want to take my wisdom teeth out all of a sudden or any of that stuff. What she would like me to do is buy a water pick, one you can take in the shower with you. She says you can floss until your heart's content, but the water pick can get places to floss and unlock. She said, I just might have had a piece of something back there, food, and it caused this inflammation. Uh, she doesn't know about the headache or the soreness over here or these other symptoms I'm having, which I told her could be nerve issues from the small fiber sensory neuropathy or could be neck arthritis issues kind of stuff happening. And I went and got it all checked out before and they couldn't tell me what was wrong. And I'm not going to go to a bunch of doctors that are going to tell me, you know, that they don't know what's wrong again and charge me a lot of money and suck up hours of my life. So, you know, unless it's, I can't, you know, I take two Tylenol, I get a lot of relief for a long period of time. I'm good. I'm not good. Anyway, so they're really nice in there. I'm going to buy a water pick. I'm going to finish the antibiotic and I'm going to just try to live my life because I don't need more people telling me, you know, I'm, I don't mean the dentist, but out, other doctors, MDs telling me they don't know. I told her I had about the burning mouth thing I had one time and she goes, well, let's see, that happens to women women in their 40s and 50s, um, ex, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And she's like, they don't know what causes it. They just give you a name so you feel better. And, you know, I hope that never comes back again because I did that numbing mouthwash and that's really almost as bad as the burning mouth after the first couple of times. And I that went away and I never wanted to come back. I told her, I said, Stuff that's happened in now, in two or three months, it'll be something different. So I just try to just get through whatever's happening now and then, you know, hopefully it goes away. I don't know. It's actually a pretty good approach for non-life-threatening emergencies. And I go home and load up Marty. I've got plenty of time. I've plugged in home. Obviously, Ruby and I know that address. Um, the Toyota behind me is irritated that I'm not speeding out of town and that I've slowed to make a turn. Oh well. I think she did that really well. There was a little bit of a brief back and forth there right as she was coming out of the corner. I am getting nagged. So I've now wiggled the wheel again. I'm really tired of wiggling the, the wheel. So I thought we'd see what Ruby tries to do with the cul-de-sac after Jules ran us off in the grass. Apparently, <clears throat> some may have had a chuckle about, it's an SUV. <laughs> I think that's great. Yes. She's doing 34 here. She says she wants to do 36. I can't see the speed limit, but since this is a well-known road to me, I know it's 35 through here running over any pedestrians today. Everybody around town is fed up with the dynamite blasting. They've been blasting several times a week and rumbling all of our houses and we're pretty much done with it. I won't be trying to mow. It's just way too wet in the yard to even think about it. So sometime next week after Helene comes through at the earliest. Okay, here's a pedestrian, and the pedestrian is just where I'm going to turn. What's she going to do? What's she going to... I bet she's going to try to turn. Okay, I stopped her. So, she was going to turn. She absolutely started to turn, and I took over. Sorry to say that she did not handle that well. You cannot turn left into a pedestrian running along the side of the road. Now we'll see what she does here. I wanted to give her a chance not to go off in the grass. Obviously, I am very prepared not to let Ruby go off in the grass. Uh, she went off in the grass by about two feet. But not as far as Jules went off in the grass. Okay, Ruby, stop. Now, she says the speed limit right now. Let me show you. Straighten out the wheel here. I'm at the edge of my driveway. She says the speed limit's 25. Okay. And there's our five mile an hour sign. And previously, for months now, she's been spotting the five mile an hour sign and doing really well. 
totally visible sign and she now 100% ignores my sign. I am now past the sign and she has 100% ignored it and that's just not okay. I need them to fix that. I, I, that's not okay. The speed limit on our driveway is five mile an hour and I need her to pick it up. But she's clearly missing the sign. And I'm sure she, there's one at the top of the driveway if you're a new viewer and you don't know. Um, there's one at the top of the driveway and she's also been missing that one coming out. So that's super frustrating that we've had that regression now. Well, you can take your 12.5.2.1 back off of Ruby. Just take it back. Uh-oh. Well, she didn't go into the grass as far as Jules did, but she absolutely went onto the grass coming into the cul-de-sac. Wow. And then I proved, was watching really careful, totally blew the five mile an hour sign, never saw it, thinks our driveway speed's 25 again. 25. I am not happy. Yeah. Everything else, it, I mean, I realized merging the two stacks and pushing it out to the fleet, it was a big deal. Yeah. I realized that. And non-edge cases, I didn't notice any differences yesterday out on the interstate or city streets. Sure. So that's great. Yeah. I mean, I, I realize that's a big deal. Yep. But don't mess with my driveway and my street now. Come on. He was doing pretty good. I mean, why the... I'm, I know. Why can it not see a, stop, a, a, a speed limit sign? And it's not like the speed limit problems we had in the prior release persist. It's not like, oh, oh yeah. we've mucked up oh. the, the speed limit signs a bit, but oh, by the way, we actually do the speed the driver wants now. Oh, no. Don't no. So, Tesla, hear me, okay? That's right. I need you to read the speed limit sign if at all possible. That's right. If you cannot find a speed limit sign, like when I turn out on the Wagstaff, find a use map data for what is published as the speed limit for that particular sure. street. And, um, oh, by the way, if the driver uses the scroll wheel or the autopilot stock to a hard roll or slide or a one-at-a-time thing, you need to immediately respond to what the driver has asked you to do, like you used to do. That's Such right. a great job of. That's right. No deal. Period. Yeah. Just if you just fix those three things, life will be so much better. Right. I don't know what you think you guys over there think you're trying to do. Probably deal with regulators. Yeah. They keep on telling them how they need it to be versus how drivers feel it should be. Don't be getting us in trouble with right. police officers by speeding into little towns. Yeah. And don't be getting us into trouble with other drivers on the road. You have a mosquito on your cheek. Yeah, smack your cheek. And mosquitoes are out here. Yeah. Um, don't be getting us in trouble with other drivers by putzing along when they're going 10 or 15 past us. Right. We got to fix this. We got to fix it. It used to be I was harping on navigation messing up FSD, but right now speed limits are messing it up. That's right. Marty's in the back now and he's not happy. Um, you can see I have full self driving supervised on. I'm set to average. I don't want to know, uh, um, yeah, off or lane change notification. Uh, I don't currently have on the minimum, but mostly what I wanted to say is I do not have automatic speed, set speed offset turned on. And I have the offset and the, um, this offset down here, I find it very weird that there are two offsets, but they're both set at 3%, which is very conservative, I understand. And, um, yeah, so I don't know. We're fixing to take off down here on the dash. Ruby says the speed here's 25 mile an hour. I am in drive. Okay. And there's the five mile an hour sign and she's not going to read it. I said, she's not going to read it. So it doesn't matter if it's on the right side of the car or the left side of the car. She's just totally blowing it away now. I am really, really not happy about that. I turned on to Wagstaff. I could see she still thought the speed limit was 35. Excuse me, 25. She still thought it was 25. I bumped it up to 30. Then I bumped it up to 35. And right now she's doing 28. 
and even prior to right then she was not willing to speed up whatsoever it's like really if I tell you I want you to go 35 I want you to actually start inching the speed up to 35 I'm going 31 here I realize it's the S curve okay I don't want her going over the yellow line so if that's what she needs to do to stay inside the yellow line I get it she shows me in the visualization she sees that pickup truck now you know she's pretty much in her lane there I mean that is a tight hard curve now she says 35 and the max of 36 I don't have figure it out well I have the three percent but I don't have the whole figure it out for yourself thing enabled okay breathe Marianne breathe and I don't have the vet put in if I tell her to go the other way, will she go the other way? She put on the right turn signal. Now I've told her to put on auto lane change unavailable, she's telling me. I don't think she's actually going to turn. I forgot to put in the vet. But I am turning, so let's leave that on. I have the vet programmed in now. It's 2.1 miles. Honest to God, I mean, how many times lately I just keep forgetting to... Put the vet in. So now I'm going to engage autopilot. And uh, she's going to turn right on Judd Parkway here. She said that's the expected route. So that's good. I'm glad Marty's not still crying back there. One, I don't want him to be upset. And two, I don't want you guys to have to hear it while I'm trying to talk to you about autopilot. So I just... You know, yesterday I told you I was having camera problems. I don't feel like I get a good job covering what Ruby thinks of 12.5.2.1, so I'm trying to make up for it today. There, one of Model X. Okay. She's wiggling the wheel. There are a lot of cars coming. There is no way she's going to make this turn okay. She has got the wheel cranked like she is ready to go, baby. It's upside down, the T. I mean, she is cranked and ready. It's clear after this pickup truck. Okay, well she handled that. And she's taken off like she owns the road. I'm up to 34 already. Alright, she knows it's 45 over here. I'm happy. Yeah, yeah. Quit nagging me. Yeah, I think I'm not going to be happy I, I, I go back and forth between happy and not happy about having a cabin camera. I was totally happy about not having it. Uh-oh, what's she going to do here? She put on the turn signal. She knows she needs to get over. She was willing to go across the double yellow line there and follow the truck in front. She is showing in the visualization double yellow line on the left side of the car. Is she going to get back over now and follow the truck? She turned on the turn signal again. Is she going to get back in the straight through lane? Wow, she handled that construction zone so well. I did not, I did not have to take over. That is fantastic. Totally happy and stoked about that. We don't have a green yet. Now, Ruby, watch for this person over here because... Sometimes they think they get to turn in front of you, that that's their right one car ahead of the straight going cars. Don't let her do that. All right, this driver did not try to do that. Maybe they saw the camera sticking up at them. Well, they should know Tesla's are recording them anyway. Um, just trying to keep honest people honest. I just got a nag. Now, I will not allow her to turn into the vet parking lot up here. Zaxby's at lunchtime and um, how to find a park. You know, she doesn't do parking in the parking lot anyway, so her being willing to turn in and handle that isn't important to me. If she was going to park, test parking the car over there, that would be one thing. I don't park right in front of the vet's office. I like to park on the side of Zaxby's because I can... It feels safer to me. So... I'll take over and make sure that happens properly. I don't want her to go to the vet's front door. She's doing 43 here. Now, honestly, she says a max of 46. Why? 
I want to cuss. Why can she not be doing 45 or 47? Here I have a 3% offset. So whatever 3% of 45 is, she should be doing that speed. I, I realize the one percentage now might be based on the speed, you know, it's based on the speed limit and not just three mile an hour over. It was so much, you know, people are not good at math. Not all people are good at math, but they can usually add three or five or 10 to a number. So this, I agree that 10 over at 35 is a lot different than 10 over at 55, but still, it was just a lot easier when you could. I would rather have had it just at 45, I want to be three mile an hour over, and at 55, I want to be six mile an hour over. I'd rather just be able to say that. I think people would understand better. The math is too complicated. Well, and plus it doesn't do what it's supposed to do anyway. I have 3% offset. The speed limit's 45. I haven't told you to do what you think. I've told you to do what I told you to do. So, gosh darn it, do that. And I prefer if we not get any closer to the truck. You really can't get a good feel with the dash cam of how close or far away things are. Don was, said something about Ruby was... Jules was tailing that truck on Judd Parkway on the way over to the Greenway in that video that she was too close. And on the big on our big TV, the video, the dash cam, the wide angle, it didn't look close at all. And it was close because I was sitting right there beside Don and I, I agreed it was close. But you guys, you know, the, the, the wide angle camera or the depth perception of how things seem or don't seem, it's... You just have to trust the person describing it to you. Okay, well, don't. Come on, Ruby. Okay, that made me really nervous. He didn't get all the way in his lane, and the curb was there, and I took over. He's going to take over up here in a minute anyway. We're almost at the vet. I told you it's only two miles from the house. Well, from the corner. So it's like three miles total, Max. Well, there's a... Tesla, I don't know why she still thinks the turn signal. When you get when the turn signal is on in FSD, after you complete the turn, the car does not take the turn signal off if you kicked out FSD before the turn was completed. And that's been a bug for a while now, and they really need to fix it. All right, well, I'm going to get us parked and get inside. I was home. <laughs> if you're keeping track, now I'm back out in Ruby again. I uh, made a Facebook marketplace purchase from somebody that's about three miles away um, up the back, up the road, what we call the back way to Holly Springs, Piney Grove, Wilbon. Um, this lady has four mini flag holders brand new and she's selling them for $5 each, which is what Walmart charges, not including the tax. Um, I think these are from Walmart and I wanted more of them. I don't know that I was going to buy four, but she's got four. So I'll just take all four. <laughs> if I'm going to drive over there, I hopefully will not need many flag holders again. Um, yeah, so I fed Dawn some lunch and now I'm headed back out. I just missed that she said, yeah, come on now before I got back to the house. So, um, it's a pretty day. Don offered to go walk with me now. The problem is, is that uh, it's in the mid 80s here. Ruby says 85. Um, that might come down a degree or two as we travel. We'll see. And um, it's very sticky. It's super sticky. So I told Don, I said, let's try to walk after dinner tonight. I want to go get this purchase. Um, come home and do yesterday's video unfortunately I think I'm gonna have some trouble with the audio due to the right card error I was receiving hopefully not too bad and then I want to make lasagna and then I want to work on my Lego a bit and then I want to eat and then I want to walk you know for people that for me I, you know life just seems really busy sometimes <laughs> It's all good. It's all good. But Don's is working on that contract, trying to get himself prepared to deliver the education. This is not a large contract. Um, she's 
she's slowing for the railroad track. Very nice. She went over that at 27. I'm totally happy with how she handled that railroad track. I want to make sure at least while I'm tearing her apart for not doing things correctly that I'm also letting you know when she's doing things really well because there are many really well examples it's just that you know we're trying to get to handles 99% of the cases without intervention and we're just still not quite there yet anyway all I was trying to say is Don's back in his office but he's not going to be working later I don't think it's not this this contract is a small number of hours split up between him and um, one of his co-workers and you know it should not be Christmas time and you still hear us saying that Don is working on a contract okay Ruby go <laughs> I pushed on the accelerator because our cement truck coming and she had plenty of time yeah yeah as she had plenty of time and I wasn't going to give her a chance to um, wait for the cement truck and all of the vehicles behind it. He's not, okay, so he turned on Wagstaff. He didn't even come past there. So it just would have totally sucked if she'd have hesitated any longer. I was going to say, she thinks it's 35 here and that's why the, ch the speed chime's going off because I tried to get her to speed up. I guess here's the sign. I just... I shouldn't have bumped up the stock. I should have waited to see if she recognized the sign. But she's still only going 39. So this is my complaint. If the speed limit's 45 and there's nobody in front of you and I tell you to go 45 and you see the sign, she's still going 40, you need to be going 45. This is not cool. This is not... This is not... Okay, breathing. This is not the way the car was driving. This is this stupid. This is this. This is this release that doesn't handle the speed limit. She's still only doing 40. I realize now we're coming up to a reason why. Um, you can start braking now, Ruby. But anytime. So we, you know, use a regen, girl. Just, you know, let's handle that. Okay, the speed limit thing is just... It's degrading my full self-driving experience at the moment. That's what it's doing. Yep, these are exactly what I wanted. This is not the house, and this road is terrible. But you might have noticed there was a Model 3 park there, and they had a... It was kind of low to the ground, but they had a wall connector on it, mounted on a pole, and they were plugged in and charging over there. No, no garage, so they're, out, you know, outside charging is what they need to do, but that's always good to see people willing to make it work. Hi, Morris. I'm done editing with Gray and uh, looking at the forecast for Hurricane Helene. And the boys are here having their afternoon siesta, especially Marty, who, you know, had the vet trauma. I'm going to start making uh, lasagna now with some <clears throat> help from my friends. Hi. I saw you walk over to the food bowls. I thought I'd bring you out dinner. We've had the briefest of sprinkles. And I printed this Lego rose. I just printed one to see how it's going to do. Well, let's come take a look. Oh, wow. That looks great. So, it's the first time I reduced the angle of support necessity. I reduced it from 25% angle to 15 because it wanted to do tree supports under the petals. And I said, no, 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 that'll be ugly I won't be able to get that off and um, my first get pass is it looks fine I was able to get the support off Don has a uh, I'm not sure what he's using but he's been sanding them just a little bit maybe this right here um, I use a hook I hook into the tree and I just pop and it comes right off pretty easy a few pieces did fly across the room that I had to trace down though there it is. Slides on just fine. There's the lasagna ready to go in the oven in a bit. And um, 
I'm going to work on uh, the haunted Victorian house for a while. Well, there's windows now. It's coming along really nicely. And there's dinner. warm and sticky out here it's going on eight o'clock it's just gets dark so early now we're gonna try to go for a walk at South Park we're hoping um, that they're playing ball and the lights are on I mean it looks like Friday morning there's not you know we could be having rain and wind I don't know it just you know if we don't have to miss today we don't want to miss today darn that lasagna was good we had us a hefty square of it and you know, walking for digestion afterwards, it's it's good when you can. So we're out here as easy as it would have been to pile up. Well, I guess the joke's on us. The field's not lit up. We're just going to walk around over here by the building where um, it is lit up. And the basketball courts are obviously doing something inside the community center tonight. So how upset can they be <laughs> that we're out here walking on the sidewalk? My tummy's full. Yeah. I'm liking it. It's not sticky. It's too bad out here at all. Yeah, now that it's dried out a little bit and, uh, and the sun's gone down and all that good stuff, it's tolerable out here. I wouldn't call I don't need a jacket, though. <laughs> I sure don't need no jacket. We're just over 40 minutes. I think it was Don's the one that said, are you sure you don't want to try kitten even though it's dark? I appreciate that. Yeah. Um... I'm going to let us head back to the house now since we'll be out here bright and early in the morning anyway. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I moved uh, Midnight's yearly vet appointment to tomorrow from next Tuesday. But I made it a drop-off appointment. I would just feel better if they checked his urine to make sure he's not got bacteria or an infection again. I just feel like that's the best thing to do for him. I'm not seeing any specific symptoms, but I just, I got to take him up there anyway. And he's had those recurrent infections and I'd like to just, I'd feel better getting him that care. So I'm going to get up, throw him in the crate, leave right away, <laughs> drop him off and uh, then come back for him later on. And they'll give him his shots and stuff while he's there too.